What's up guys, Doc Ito here with an Alita update. The doctor is in, and today I am pumped. This was the day we have all been waiting for. All week we've been waiting to cross 400 million, and it came a day early. We did it. All the hard work, all the viewings we put forth, all our support for the movie, we have crossed the magic number of 400 million, and we did it together. We'll get into the numbers, how this actually happened, since yesterday we were about 150,000 short. We'll get all that analysis later. But first, just look at the significance of this. This movie was supposed to make 200 million. This was going to be the biggest loss ever for Fox. It was going to go out with a whimper. This movie was going to mark the end of anime, the end of manga adaptations. This was going to be a colossal disaster. But no, the people spoke up. The people saw Alita. They saw the movie. They loved it. They spread the word to others. They shared with their friends. They went and saw the movie. They went to see it not just once, not twice, but three, four, five, fifty, seventy-five times. We love Alita, and we want to see a sequel, and that's why we spoke up. We'll do a full box office analysis, and while that is great news, we're also going to be talking a little bit about Alita Twitter going silent. So let's go through some updates first. Remember to sign the Alita petition. We are just a couple hundred votes away from 7,500. It seems we're going up about two to 300 a day, which is great. Head on over to Twitter also. James Cameron just posted this up a few hours ago. It's a joke about things on his to-do list. Well, let's tell him what else is on his to-do list or what should be Alita, the sequel. We got to make it happen. So head on over to his Twitter and let him know what we really love. But remember to be respectful. Don't put down other movies. Don't make it a political thing. We want to be positive. We want to support Alita. We don't want to get caught up in all the other distractions. And as always, remember to like and subscribe to the channel so Doc Ito can keep giving you free repairs. Now, here is the news I wanted to talk about. I saw this, um, this was from 5 a.m. yesterday. So this was a couple days ago where Peaches, great guy on Twitter, saw that the Alita movie page has been silent in four days. And this is correct. So if you go to their Twitter page, they were very active for a while. They would retweet posts all the time. Um, they would like posts. They would really be active posting to Twitter. So this is, you know, March 18th, March 19th. Every day they would have multiple, multiple posts. And um, I think uh, there's one I forgot to like. Um, so then March 20th, nothing. So now we've had five days of absolutely nothing. And March 20th was the day the Disney Fox deal finalized. So once Disney bought out Fox, Alita went quiet. Now, is this a bad sign for the sequel? I don't know. I do not know. I know that over 3,000 people were expected to be fired with this fallout. And it is a little bit concerning that perhaps Alita's future is not so set in stone with Disney now owning the Fox properties, even if Disney was able to silence the Alita Twitter account, they will not be able to silence this Alita fan, as well as the millions of fans throughout the country and throughout the world. We will not be silent, and we will not be silenced. We do not stand by in the presence of evil. We will continue to fight for Alita. We will continue to support Alita, and this movie will get a sequel because it deserves a sequel, because it Alita is an amazing character with a great message for everyone who sees this movie. Interestingly, what I did mention a couple days ago was that at least the Alita experience has still been tweeting. This is the um, awesome real-life experience, and you can see that they're still active. Alita is very tricky, though, because James Cameron owns the rights to Alita. Fox distributed the movie, and now Disney essentially owns the rights to Alita Battle Angel, while James Cameron still owns the rights to the Alita IP themselves. Part of the firings that occurred is Andrew Cripps, who is the Fox International Distribution head. And in this article, they mentioned that during Cripps' short run, he had home runs, Bohemian Rhapsody, Greatest Showman, Deadpool 2, while the ambitious 170 million James Cameron Alita was challenged from the start at the domestic box office, which is not necessarily accurate. We're doing quite well. He propelled the pick's foreign box office to 80%, 312 million, and scored the best IMAX and Fox debut in China with 62 million. 
Anyways, so it's not great that someone who pushed Alita and made it into especially an international success is out at Disney. But James Cameron is the man, and he can do anything. Alita is his baby, and I trust him to bring her to a sequel. So that's what we have with the Alita Twitter account. Now, I like to be precise. Doc Ido is a doc. He is precise. I didn't report this right away until now, a couple days later, we can see that they're still quiet. I like to report my numbers officially once we have some confirmed source. And there was another rumor that I saw about three or four days ago when someone shared some messages with me that they communicated with someone involved in the first Alita movie about a potential sequel. I was not going to share this, but now these messages have been shown where there is some indication that 400 million might be a magic mark leading to a sequel. I am being purposefully vague, um, but now that it's out there, I feel like I, I can comment on it. I think it's more complicated than just 400 million, especially with Disney and Fox and everything else involved. But once we get any official response, of course, I will be right here and we will let you know right away. I think there's still a lot to be worked out with, with Disney and James Cameron and all of the rights to the movie. But needless to say, even with this radio silence or Twitter silence from the Alita movie, I think we're well on our way toward a sequel and we should be proud of our accomplishments thus far. So on to the numbers. How did we get over the $400 million mark when they didn't report any extra days of revenue? Well, the weekend numbers were actually a lot better than what they expected. So remember, yesterday we reported estimates, which is what we get on Sunday. And the 275 was actually 288, the 447 was actually 458, and the 290 was actually 334. So this was an $80,000 increase, which actually made a significant difference because now the drops are only 45%, 44%, and 39%. So this is actually one of the best Sundays the movie has had. I mean, people went to the theaters even more than what they expected for this weekend, and I think that is a really good sign for the future numbers here in the States. Looking at the four numbers, checking in on France again, um, they are still not fixed. I did tweet to Box Office Mojo and IMDB asking them about this. No one has written back yet, so... As soon as we know, we will uh, let you know, but hopefully we get some clarification about this French $2 million that are missing. So in the end, this is a great day for Alita. This is a great day for Alita fans. We have passed the $400 million magic mark. We are now playing with the casino's money. Everything from here is just a bonus. And once we get the Blu-ray sales and the merchandise sales, it's going to be amazing. So continue to fight for Alita. Continue to spread the word, continue to see it while it's in theaters, and remember to like and subscribe so Doc Ito can keep giving you these free repairs. We will get new numbers tomorrow, uh, the Monday numbers, so look for an update then, and y'all have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Doc Ito, out.